Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Leo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending each and every one of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Leo and it will not resonate with every Leo cross watcher. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. But if you have sun and rising or Venus placements in Leo or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading can resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it's your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all the extended ratings that I do. If you're interested in that, there is a link in the description box or you can click the red join button below for more information. Personal readings are open. I don't know if I said that or not yet, but they are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule as well as you can find the links to my Instagram and TikTok pages where I do post collective readings if you're interested in that. All right. What is going on with my Leo collective? What do they need to know at this time? Message for the Leo collective. All right. So we have leadership. We have rare gift. Brick wall and waiting game. Back of the deck, we have teamwork. Yeah. The hidden secrets. Hmm. Somebody was maybe hiding something, something about like their money situation from you. Um, I also feel like, guys, um, just downloads that I'm getting as I'm shuffling, you know, drawing the cards. First of all, I heard something, you were in a situation that you were better than. Like there was something, something that you were involved with or a person that you were involved with and spirit says you deserve better or you were better than that. Okay. Um, also, I feel like maybe somebody is waiting to hear from you or like maybe somebody was trying to put you on hold and you were better than that. Or there could be somebody waiting, to, waiting to hear from you. But I feel like that's not something that's going to happen. They're, you're not going to reach out to this person. I just saw two, two, two on the camera. So I, that's letting me know I'm on the right path when it comes to this. Um, somebody, I'm almost getting that somebody may need your help. Okay. Like, or they may, yeah, they may need your help. And this is somebody that maybe you haven't been speaking to. But it's like, I see somebody maybe needs your help with something, but they may not be like, when they come towards you, they may not be very upfront with you about it. Like they have something going on in regards to their job or their money situation that they maybe aren't going to reveal to you. And that has something to do why with why they're maybe trying to come together with you or something like that. So we're going to dive deeper. What does this mean for Leo? So we have third party here. Okay. Tell me more. Maybe you like you all of a sudden found out about a third party or somebody. Something happened in regards. There were people interfering on your connection or you found out that somebody was had a third party. And then there was like this this quick change in a dynamic here. And then. Um, I feel like, yeah, you guys decided to be single. You guys broke up. Tell me what, what does this mean for Leo? Good news. What is this good news that's coming in? Coldness. What about absence of love? Up in the air. The past. There could have been somebody that you felt like was not taking you seriously. and Like it's somebody that you have history with. This is the person you know. You could have maybe felt like you needed to protect yourself from this person. But what I'm seeing here. Well, clarify third party the world so some type of third party situation is ending if somebody had another person if somebody was married or they had somebody else that situation is coming to an end and then all of a sudden there's going to be rapid change like some this is almost similar to taurus's reading reading that southern accent that just came out of nowhere um yeah i see that something is coming to an end so this is maybe not you. Somebody's ending something with a third party. They're single now. They're free from something. And all of a sudden, there's this sudden change. And then there's this good news. So I see somebody maybe reaching out to you when some type of third party situation gets 
ends for them. Like if they had somebody else or they were married or there was something interfering on your connection, that's coming to an end. And then the, you're going to be receiving a message or a phone call from this person. Somebody's going to communicate something to you. They're probably going to tell you that this is over now. This was something that was like in limbo. This, this kind of feels to me like a divorce or a one foot in, one foot out the door situation. But um, yeah, something that was like a decision hadn't been made about this third party situation. A verdict hadn't come in, whatever it is. But that's that's finally coming in, okay? And then all of a sudden, something that was blocked. All of a sudden, tell me about the moon. Inner knowing that what? What is your intuition telling you? That something is faded. That things are, like you guys may feel or somebody feels like they know, have an inner knowing that things are, something does have potential. That things will change or improve in a situation that it's faded. That there's some type of turning point. Like maybe you guys can feel that there's about to be a shift or you will be able to feel this shift when it happens. But I do see things starting to go in your favor in regards to a love situation. Like a love situation that was broke broke blocked <laughs> that situation is going to be no longer blocked and somebody may have a knowing about this something does have potential so there is potential for reconciliation and clarity being brought to a situation but it looks like there was some type of karmic cycle there also could have maybe been distance between you and a person what is What does local travel have to do with anything? The unseen. Something's been going on. Somebody's been traveling or doing something. You don't know what somebody's been doing. While you, like Maybe you're not a, a, like, how do I say this? Something that you weren't aware of. That somebody's been going through a lot of chaos. They could be driving a lot. They could be traveling. But you don't, you, you have, like, you're, you maybe like haven't heard from somebody. Like there's there's been like no movement, nothing's been happening. But what you don't know is that something has been going on behind the scenes. And it's like there's been some chaos. Um, maybe even some unpredictable happenings. But something's been going on that you don't know about. Tell me, and it has something to do with somebody traveling or driving a lot. What does this have to do with what has been going on that they're not aware of? What tell me more about it? Okay, what about love? Pink diamond. Okay, what does something with what's been going on with this local travel that they don't know about? Time off. Yeah, taking care of yourself, doing things that make you happy, enjoying life more. Tell me more about time off and local travel. Passion. Soulmates. You, this is somebody that you haven't been talking to. And I feel like what you don't know is that this person still feels the, the connection. They still feel very passionate about you craving you there is love there and i feel like you guys may not feel like this person loves you or that they still are passionate about you but it's still there there's like some type of one-of-a-kind love or connection between you and this person definitely a soul connection they're gonna want to rebuild this or i see someone wanting to rebuild this but what's this see dating what's been going on good health business somebody's trying to work on improving their finances what does dating have to do with leo so a masculine energy and sadness so yeah this is there was some masculine energy that you really wanted to like be able to like spend time with see more date and i feel like things didn't you got there was some type of disappointment like some somebody entered your life and you were hoping but th this was like this is this was divine protection that this didn't maybe work out. What happened with this masculine energy? What happened between me? So tell me more about birth. This person's coming back and asking for another chance to like date you. See, now we have, yeah, they're wanting to take things to the next level with you. But finance, money is not a, is a factor. Their finances or debt is an issue. Yeah. This person's coming back and asking for another chance, a new beginning, a chance to start over, wanting to build something with you, date you. But they've been trying to work on their financial situation. What's going on with their finances? Okay, it looks like there's positive changes happening in their finances. 
Yeah, something about a karmic cycle had, was maybe putting a toll on their finances. What about snake? Or they're trying to heal from a karmic situation. Yeah, maybe relocate or moving locations or something like that. Maybe some type of living situation is coming to an end, like a lease. Somebody could be moving. Their lease came to an end or they could no longer stay at a, a living, like where they were living at. Something like that. Somebody does want a new beginning with you. Let's see. There has been this blockage. Let's see, I don't know. What is what what was someone waiting for? What was the waiting? Waiting game. Clarify waiting game. Children. So it has something to do with children. Say more about waiting and children. The devil. So what I'm getting is that not only was somebody, somebody maybe had some addiction, some toxicity that they needed to work through. They also maybe had a situation with their children that they needed to get sorted out. If it was no children involved, then this person could have just been emotionally immature. Okay. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is like a divorce or something. I don't have those cards coming out, but it's something like that. Something to do with children. Tell me more about what's going on here. We have Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Page of Swords. Oh, you could definitely could be dealing with an immature person where there's children involved. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. The Empress in Reverse. Taurus Energy. I did mention Taurus. Their Taurus reading was similar to this. And we have Four of Cups. Somebody feels like they're, if they don't maybe get something sorted out soon, like somebody's like hoping that you wait for them. But I feel like you guys are maybe knowing your worth in a situation. It's like something isn't growing. Something isn't changing. This person isn't growing and changing. The situation, like whatever the blockage is, isn't being cleared. Give me more clarity on what is blocking this from moving forward. Somebody definitely needs to think about how they're missing an opportunity. Rebuilding. Rebuilding your life after loss. Investing a lot of effort. Ready to take action. Determination and drive. Okay. Somebody's just been maybe trying to get back on their feet or rebuild their life. And it's like they're doing it, but it's just taking them a while. So it's like this person is just not stable. Tell me more. Ghosting. And then maybe they, there's a lack of closure in another situation. I feel like a karmic cycle isn't over. Yeah, tell me more. One more card. What's blocking this? Between worlds. Yeah, somebody's like, not. that's that energy I'm picking up on. One foot in, one foot off the door. Torn between two paths, space between the old and the new. Yes, trying to balance two lives in transition. They're in the process of a transition. And that's why this hasn't been moving forward. They need to completely transition into the next phase of their life. They're, they're one foot in, one foot out the door. Or they're just still trying to get it together after something ended for them or is about to end for them. That's what I'm getting. They're, a situation isn't over yet. They're like transitioning out of it. So, and I feel like it hasn't been easy. Delays. Um, yeah, obstacles, challenges. It's like this person has been wanting you to be patient with them while they're like trying to get their shit together. And I just feel like you guys want more than this for yourselves like you don't feel like you should have to wait for somebody to get their shit together like that's what's going on here so yeah king of cups could be dealing with a pisces cancer or a scorpio this person does have love for you all right um they have a lot of regrets um and i feel like they don't want this to be over but this person hasn't they're 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 kind of being a little bit resistant to change but i do see there's justice something is balancing out here Tell me about the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. Two of Cups. 
Six of Swords. What does this mean for Leo? Hold on. What does this mean for Leo? Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. And the Ace of Wands. The Seven of Swords. Strength. The strength to what? It's like they're wanting you to like wait or hold out, like be patient. Hold, like not let them go. What is the seven of, I feel like this person's trying to figure out a way to keep you from moving on. Keep you waiting for them. Yeah, because this person, I feel like they feel like you're moving on from them because this per, you feel like this person doesn't have anything to offer you. This person could be watching you, spying on you, curious about you. I feel like you're going to be receiving communication from them. But the thing is, is that they still have this blockage. All right. And with the four of cups, I feel like you guys may ignore this person when they do communicate with you or their offer may get rejected. You're going to maybe dismiss them. You don't feel like whatever they're offering you can give, fulfill you or you will be fulfilled in that situation. Like you're not happy with whatever this person is offering you. Um, because I definitely see that you guys are like kind of stepping into your knowing your worth and your value and you're using logic over emotions here. So, but somebody feels like you're rare. That's what they, they, they don't want you to leave them because they know that there's something different about them. They know that they're not ready for this. Okay. But, and they're very passionate about you, but, and I think they, it's not even just passion. They do love you as well. So this person is trying to scheme. They're trying to figure out how to get you. To keep you to keep you from moving on is what I holding on to them. Clarify strength. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So they they have all this love for you. They just don't have this their shit together. And it, and that means they won't you won't be able to have a balanced connection with this person. They have an inability to commit to you despite the love that they have for you. Okay. Clarify the strength card. That could just be Leo. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah. They're trying to strategize. How they can keep you waiting or like keep you, yeah, like waiting for them. Is this brick wall energy going to get cleared? Seven of Cups is up in the air. Uh, the Hermit in reverse. The Three of Swords in reverse. Is this blockage going to get cleared? Four of Wands, okay. Mm, the Hero in reverse though. Five of Wands in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. The Emperor. Uh, I see a lot of um, I see a lot of conflicting energy right now, guys. It's just this person knows that you're moving on from them. It's like maybe you guys were waiting for this person at some point. You they know that you've been patient or you've been being patient with this person. You've invested a lot. They maybe feel that they are very invested in you. Something like that. And they, I feel like they know that you're no longer waiting on them because you feel like this is not something that can progress. So, yeah. So what are they going to do? I just see them trying to, they don't have anything to offer you. I see them coming towards you. I see them still not being in a place to commit to you, but wanting you to wait on them or wanting to try to keep you waiting on them. So I see them coming in with manipulation. person about to do nine of cups seven of swords i'm telling you ooh, i don't kind of like this energy this person's coming in so they're coming in to kind of like um make you happy or give you they're coming in and maybe like how do i explain this give me one more card so i can seven of cups ace of pentacles in reverse they're creating an illusion guys Are there, are, does this person have good intentions though? Do they genuinely care? Three of cups in reverse. Mm. Eight of cups. Three of one. They just know that you're walking away and they want you to wait on them.
They're coming in to create the illusion. They're, like they're coming in to like offer you something or to give you what they think will make satisfy you. Give you some type of recognition what they would get to like offer you what they know you've been wishing for and hoping for. It's giving love, love bombing. Okay, guys, so it's giving that love bombing. But this is like some type of like scheme or plan that they've come up with. Like there's some dishonesty here or deception, an illusion. Because this person with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this is going to be an unfulfilled potential. Whatever it is that they're coming in to offer you is not something that they can give to you. They're just coming in to tell you what to keep you strung along. That's what they're trying to do, string you along. Um, how is Leo going to feel about this? Are they going to, I don't, I feel like you guys are, okay, we have King of Pentacles, okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. We have Four of Pentacles, the, ooh, the Queen of Swords. You're probably, whatever this person's coming in to tell you is like, they know exactly what they, what you want to hear, guys. And I really feel like this person's putting on a good show. I'm just being honest with you. I see you guys maybe trying to take a leap of faith, letting your guard down. Like this person's whatever they're saying to you is making you let your guard down. And I do see you guys opening up to this person, like letting your guard down, taking a leap of faith on this. Cause whatever they're saying, they're portraying themselves as the King of Pentacles. Like they do have their shit together, that they are stable, but this is an illusion. It looks like. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading so we can take a deeper look at this person's feelings, intentions, the future guidance for you guys. The link will be in the description box. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and oh, or you can join my channel if you want access to all my extended readings. Click the red join button below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Um, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.